In Dominus, you can control the male and the female choirs independently by disabling one of them in the interface, or by selecting the spaced keyboard layout so that all the male voices are in the lower range of the keyboard, whilst the female voices remain separate in the upper range. This is the preferred layout for precise editing. If instead you'd prefer to sketch a part with both female and male choirs, you can use the overlap layout. In this mode, the female voices double the male voices at an octave above, instantly achieving a cinematic sound. Real Notes, however, maintains the true octave for each voice type, although this may result in unnatural voice leading. The engine page also features quick controls. The pre-roll allows the initial consonants to be heard momentarily before the beat, as it would be sung in real life. For instance, the words Spiritus and Christus both require that the first vowel is aligned with the beat. For example, if you chose to score the word Spiritus for a duration of four quarter beats, the pre-roll would ensure that it begins to count from the first vowel, not the consonant. Quantize Word will align all words to sound precisely on the beat. We don't use this feature often because you get accustomed to the types of words which require this anticipation. For example, let's listen to Lacrimosa from Mozart's Requiem. In this example, it should be clear that the vowel sound A is on the beat whereas the consonant L can be heard fractionally earlier. All choir and vocal music is often notated in the simplest way possible. It would be impractical to score sheet music with such precise anticipation, yet, when heard, it is the vowels which fall exactly on the beat. OK, let's move on and talk about polyphonic legato. If you want to make a legato transition during a sustained vowel, just release any voice, pressing another immediately after. The old voice will now lead on to the new one. The release legato slider controls both the release of the word and the time you have to make the legato transition. If this time expires, the word is reset. You can also reset a word by pressing its key switch. Velocity lock is a simple feature that allows you to precisely adjust the volumes of each individual note in the choir voicing. The idea is simple. Play your choir parts, set all the velocities to 64 and then disable the velocity lock setting. Now, you'll be able to use the velocity to tweak the intensities of each individual note. There are a total of four possible mic positions. Let's hear how they sound. Choir balance. This control adjusts the balance between the male and the female voices.
This control on the right helps to achieve an improved balance between each individual voice. Naturally, the upper ranges of both choirs tend to be louder. The tenors and the sopranos often sound a little stronger than the altos and the basses. This is natural. However, if you'd like to achieve a more balanced choir sound, it can be adjusted using this slider. And finally, there are 13 reverb presets, allowing you to enjoy the choir in a variety of different ambient spaces. Thank you all for listening. We hope you'll enjoy working with Dominus, the choir library from Fluffy Audio.